With March Madness in full swing, all kinds of people have been out and about today. Madison Kimbrough joins us live in the strip tonight with more details. Madison. Yes, many people visiting Vegas calling it an escape as we're in the second day of the NCAA tournament and people are feeling the energy. Take a look. I didn't expect it to be this packed, but yeah, it is a lot of people. The view in our city looks a bit different this weekend. Streets are buzzing, hotels and casinos busier than usual. Whether that's because of our increased capacity of 50% or because people are feeling more comfortable after getting vaccinated. One thing is for sure, we haven't seen a weekend in the strip corridor like this in a long time. It just seems like there's a lot more to do here, a lot more people out, a lot more excitement. Been working from home for the last year and just really wanted to get out the house. So I drove up here to uh, walk around, do some shopping, a little gambling. Today is also day two of March Madness. Over at Westgate, it's the busiest they've seen since last June. Many people expressing their joy that the tournament has returned to the Westgate Superbook once again. Energy is unbelievable. I've talked to a couple of our uh, loyal customers from other parts of the country, and they were just heartbroken last year when we didn't host this event. It was canceled, and obviously that had a huge impact on all these basketball fans, sports fans. As for making sure everyone complies with the safety protocols, the Superbook decided to limit their capacity to even lower than 50%, just to play it safe, with their full capacity being at 2,200 people. This past week, they stopped doing their temperature checks, but masks are still required, and people will be told to space out if they are not doing so. Cornegay says the first weekend is typically when they see the biggest turnout. March Madness is a very unique event that it's actually more popular at the beginning of it than the end of it. So uh, you'll see the crowds kind of dwindle as the tournament goes along. I mean, we'll still have a nice crowd for the Final Four, but it's all about this first weekend. And as for new spots opening up, Virgin Hotels opens this Thursday, and the link will open up back to seven days a week starting on Monday. Reporting live on the Las Vegas Strip, Madison Kimbrough, 8 News Now.